An ICE detainer was denied for an illegal immigrant charged with sexually assaulting a young girl. Now, what's surprising about this story isn't so much the part about an illegal immigrant sexually assaulting a young girl, but the fact that a Travis County Sheriff has been denying ICE's request for a detainer. Jean Jacques was an immigrant living in the U.S. illegally. The U.S. tried repeatedly to deport him, but his native Haiti wouldn't take him back. So immigration and customs enforcement officials in early 2015 did the same thing they do thousands of times a year. They released a violent criminal immigrant from jail. Six months later, Jack killed Casey Chadwick, a young Norwich, Connecticut woman. An illegal immigrant allegedly kidnapped and sexually abused a 13-year-old girl before the pair was finally located in Michigan. In Arizona, an illegal immigrant who was deported six times and was allegedly high on pot is accused in a hit-and-run crash that injured a mother and her two young children. And in the case that gained nationwide attention, a 45-year-old illegal who was deported five times is charged with fatally shooting a 31-year-old woman in San Francisco. 68,000 illegal immigrants with criminal Criminal convictions, serious criminal convictions, are just set free. They're not deported. They're simply set free in the United States. 31-year-old Javier Guillardo Gonzalez is being charged with sexually assaulting his girlfriend's young daughter for more than a year. Well, he was booked at a Travis County jail on Sunday. Then the ICE detainer was denied, and he set bail and will be released with nothing more than a GPS tracking device. Well, a lot of these ICE immigration roundups that we've been seeing, if you actually scroll through the press releases on these, you'll find that they are very much heavily surrounded with crime and they're mostly picking up criminals or human traffickers. So it's too bad that political correctness is getting in the way of law enforcement being able to do their jobs to protect the American people. An ICE detainer was also denied for Lionicio Garfias Aviles. The 45-year-old man was arrested on Sunday as well for beating his girlfriend outside of a bar. He was also denied an ICE detainer. And another man, Javier Torres Hernandez, who was wanted since 2014 for sexually assaulting a seven-year-old twice, was also picked up on Sunday, and yet his ICE detainer was also denied, in which he can also post bail and be out and about on the American streets assaulting more young children. These are just some more examples of what Donald Trump was talking about in regards to illegal immigrants coming here from other countries knowing that they can just commit crimes and because Americans are so afraid of coming off as politically incorrect, they will be treated with leniency or even just deported to their countries where they can then sneak back in over the border to commit crimes on our people in America over and over again. They may put them into the process, initiate removal proceedings that still have to go see an immigration judge, et cetera, but they're not going to detain them. You're absolutely right. It's absolutely despicable that Travis County Sheriff Sally Hernandez has been refusing to honor these ICE detainers. President Trump can make executive orders every day to try and fix the problems facing our nation, but unless everyday Americans like you out there put pressure on local government officials to uphold the law and do their jobs, then only so much can be done. We may have won the war against the tyrants when we put Donald Trump in as our president, but we still must fight on in this info war. This is Millie Weaver signing off for Infowars.com. In case you haven't heard, InfoWars has become the most influential media outlet in America. We're making freedom go viral. And now we are proud to announce a new weapon in the epic battle against the globalist. InfoWars Prime. Where you can watch live, high-definition feeds of The Alex Jones Show, plus exclusive insider videos from the InfoWars crew and behind-the-scenes action. Go to InfoWars.com forward slash app and download today. 
today. InfoWars Prime is available right now for your iPhone or Android. You will have access to exclusive videos that you can't see anywhere else. And that means live coverage of events and breaking news on location as it happens. You can also take advantage of amazing deals from the InfoWars store that are only available for InfoWars Prime subscribers. That's InfoWars Prime at InfoWars.com forward slash app. If you can hear my voice, you are the resistance.